Hey folks, uh, this is not a noise letter video. The production quality is nowhere near as, I guess, okay as that usually. It's also not a storm watch. Hope when you do a storm watch today, we just got too much going on. But I did feel that it was important to talk to y'all about something that we noticed the past week and a half that's not stopping and that is kind of concerning. Uh, so you may have noticed we had a couple blogs last week. Noah did a phenom job uh, putting all the information together. And the one I've got up right now, We'll get links in the notes or however we, we do that kind of stuff. Um, the, the first one is, let me get over to that screen. Yeah, so we saw like a bonkers huge surge in Palo Alto scanning. And just to give you an idea of, of what I mean by that, um, uh, this is uh, a graph I just made like literally right before this uh, that's showing all of the selected edge activity uh, that we have. And uh, the Palo Alto stuff has just been bonkers. Like this, the login scanner uh, is just nonstop. It's millions of credentials that, that we're seeing. And it isn't the only technology that we're seeing hits against. Uh, we're going to be creating a new uh, SonicWall VPN login attempt tag. And we've, we've seen tens of thousands of hits against that one as well, too, over, over the past few months. And as you can kind of see from this screen, We've seen pretty much everything uh, on all of the major players when it comes to edge access, remote access, whether it's looking for Cisco ASAs, which has not stopped, Pulse Secure, Avanti stuff. Uh, I, I should have gotten rid of the Belkin thing, but don't worry about that right now. Um, basically, there's a whole ton of edge systems that are under reconnaissance, and some of them actually under like attack right now. For the, the other one that we did uh, the other day was uh, we also noticed that the micro, and you saw a little bit of that, but I'll, I'll talk about it more in a minute. The US RDP infrastructure has been under, I can't describe it as any, any, anything else but an onslaught for over a month now. Uh, at the time of this blog post last week on the 10th, there's over 100,000 IPs that we've seen, unique IPs targeting any RDP infrastructure, primarily in the United States, coming from virtually every autonomous system. And let me kind of scroll down to show you what I mean by that. Um, this is country level traffic coming to the RDP infrastructure in the United States, primarily. And it's coming from every ASN everywhere because of residential proxies. So that, that if you don't know what those are, if you, if you caggy at Google it, whatever you use for search, it's basically folks, businesses that like either illicitly or deliberately because you sign up for it, you agree to rent out your infrastructure, like your your home internet access to the folks that want to do scraping on the internet or do attacks like we're seeing here. So it's a combination of residential proxy infrastructure, but also like millions of compromised devices, like actually just millions of compromised devices out there. And we're just seeing a tiny fraction of those. You may have seen reference uh, uh, over the weekend, Brian Krebs did a great report on a new botnet that is taking advantage of all of these edge devices, the stuff that we don't patch, the routers that 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 are there, the, the, the IoT that you leave out there, and some ICS stuff that also is kind of just hanging in very vulnerable. We've never really seen this coordinated level of malicious attack. Like we see other types of things. We'll see UDP blasts because we sometimes get caught in DDoS blasts like other folks do. But for the most part, you know, we just try to measure things that are literally attacking with some kind of exploit. We've never seen something like this at, at this rate before, and it does not bode well. And to give you an idea of, of just how big this is, I, I kind of went back and I had to pull a bunch of our data from last year. The, in October of last year, what we saw is like pretty much repeatedly, I tend to call these heartbeat scans or heartbeat attempts. Uh, poking at uh, trying to do remote desktop enumeration. And it's about 100 IPs every so often. It's It kind of is normal background noise of the internet for us. And starting, you know, right around mid-August, we now have like orders of magnitude more. Like, and, you know, the, again, the combination of all of these is well over 300, almost 400,000 unique IP addresses being used from virtually every autonomous system, every network on on the planet. And this is just... Just bonkers. It's actually it's just, it's just crazy. The uh, we at the same time last week we also saw something which we call a noise storm, which is when there is a a sin blast and that's it like from spoofed IP addresses, and that was also coming from everywhere. So these noise storms, which we've documented before in the blog, just Google it. Uh, they're used to kind of confuse network infrastructure, kind of throw people off off track. 
And the fact that we saw this before we saw the deliberate attempts at doing enumeration on remote desktop and then all of the other stuff we're seeing about login attempts to try to break into other folks' edge environments and, get, and you know break past the VPN and get onto their networks. Um, I don't use the word scary lightly, and it is kind of scary. Um, <laughs> this, this is something unprecedented. We're keeping a really good eye on this. And this, you know, this is me and like, I like to eat. This is not a sales pitch. Uh, this happens to be also the launch day. And so we, we didn't do this. It wasn't our fault. We just happened to be coincided. Well, we were going to launch just a couple weeks ago, but we decided to hold off because of the Palo activity and the Cisco activity. Uh, just, just, just to give folks time to respond. Uh, for 14 days, you could try this. This is a new thing to try to make it easier to add block lists to your edge devices. And just sign up for this. Like you don't need to buy anything after 14 days. You can try. You can just keep yourself protected for a while. But the good news about this is, is you can like put this block list onto your edge devices that provide remote access. And yeah, you know, and that that basically covers you from these scans at least. It may not cover you from the direct attacks because we need to see those and they might come from different IP space. But you're not going to get enumerated and you're not going to have blasts of logins trying to hit your edge stuff that has those things. Uh, so right now, like you basically can take all the tags that you've seen on there, build a blacklist from that and be ready to go and have that put on there. While we don't put this stuff in IP set format, I know a lot of you out there are like digging IP set these days. Uh, some kit and some some actual professional kit supports IP set. You can take that that list of IPs that this gives you, run it through that, and then put it on those systems as well too. The the one thing I want to point out about this right here, this this particular chart, um, there's a cascade of IP addresses happening. So there's new IP addresses happening every single hour, every single day within this attack and with some other attacks. That means that like the block lists need to be updated on a regular basis. The error of static block list is gone. Um, and that's one thing that's really nice about this. Whenever the IPs change, the block list gets updated. So you're kind of always protected. And for 14 days, you get this. Like you can put this on right now, save your edge devices. And if it, if it does work, it might be something to consider long-term. Uh, so again, not really a sales pitch on me. Just please go try this because this is the best way that I can think of for folks to prepare for what's about to happen to everybody. I don't know what attackers are going to be doing with all of this telemetry they've been gathering and how many in, in enterprise networks they've broken into because of the credential stuffing, but but it's not great. It, it's just it's just not great. So I wanted to give everybody a heads up in a different way. No and I might be working on a more coherent PDF than my ranting right now. But for now, just give it a shot. Go read the things. Grab the IPs. We probably update some of the stuff in GitHub that we've already put out there. Uh, grab grab the block list from the block product, block.graynoise.io before Ashley kills me. And uh, if the situation changes at all, we will get back to you. Take care, everybody. Stay safe out there.